from just one building. A building that slowly, but surely over the next 13 years, I grew to call home. These 13 years seem like such a long journey and you wake up one day and you realize that suddenly it's all over and all you can do is reminisce because as much as they tell you to look ahead, you can't just stop looking back. I'm standing here today, it's an ugly feeling, hideous rather, to think that everyone, everything we were doing for so long has hit a brick wall and you've got no choice to leave. Leap over it and hope to God that you can plan. Most of us are going to leave this city. Many of us may never meet again. And for some time now, I know it's going to be a cold, hard, lonesome struggle. Some sort of an initiation, if you will. Necessary, yet lonesome. And all my hopes and aspirations, all my dreams, can only do so much to soften the blow. It's like this song from Fiddler on the Roof. It says, is this the little girl I carried? Is this the little boy I played? I can't remember growing older. When did they? When did she get to be a beauty? When did he get to be so tall? It wasn't it yesterday when they were small? Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Swiftly flow the days. Seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers, blossoming even as we gaze. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Swiftly flow the years. One season following another, laden with happiness and tears. And the more I think about it, the more I feel I've lost something today. Something the world would have been much better place with. And one promise that I made to myself this day, and hopefully you all will follow suit, is that I will try to the best of my abilities not to lose this spark of compassion, this streak of courage. Courage to be who I am, courage to stand up for my friends, for the truth, courage that is the hallmark of a true Zavarian. I know it's time to say my goodbyes, and there are some things that I've got to say. Mrs. Arora, thank you ma'am for everything you've done for me over the past three years. I can't even begin to list them. Mrs. Sorbet, you could not be on the last teacher. Thank you for being frank to us and giving me a certain amount of leeway through the years. Mrs. Miranda, I know I could never have made it through this year without you. I just can't put into words all to me too. I've never seen a better teacher. Thanks for all the extra attention we got. Mrs. Gulati, ma'am, in your class, when you sing the song, it's either I or Pradeep, or you. Mr. Gulati, ma'am, I won't make it up to your expectations. Ma'am, you were the first to say to me what you said that day. And I swear, I will never forget you for it. The confidence you have shown in me is standing. Mr. Katie Thomas, sir, every second I've spent with you, I have treasured. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Bhatia, I don't know about everyone else, ma'am, but I truly believe what you're doing for us today is the most important thing. My entire council, all my captains, my prefects, Carl, DJ, Sonal, Megha, Pratik, Sanchit, Bismi, Sinzevas would not have been what it is today without you. Thank you for a wonderful year and for staying with me through thick and thin. Especially Megha, thank you. You're always there when I needed you the most. And most importantly, Mr. Miranda, so I want you to know that I revere you. I have never seen this amount of dedication in a single person, and yet with your talent and at your age, sir, from my own, my own experience, your humility exceeds all bounds known to man. Thank you, sir. I, I, I just can't put it into words. for teaching us some of the most important lessons about what should not be done in life. If you wanted a score of yes men to cater to your every capricious quirk, then your selection of this year's council was obviously flawed. I started this year thinking about what went wrong with this school.